am creating a Dollar Tree dinner tonight. I am super excited and hopefully this turns out really yummy because for a buck, you really can't beat that for dinner. It's actually gonna be more than a buck, but I'm gonna show you guys everything in just a second. I had to search my Dollar Tree for several, several weeks before they got these freezer, freezer to plate meals in stock. What we're cooking tonight is the freezer to plate Marsala. It has the pasta and the sauce in here. You do have to add your chicken. So this is the chicken that I have. So all you need for this meal is the box. And because I am a family of six, I'm actually going to be making two boxes, but just one box worth of chicken, if that makes sense. Just because I don't feel like this is going to have enough of the pasta and sauce in it for six people. So I'm gonna help go ahead and make two boxes and then just have my chicken. So the only thing that you need, and it says right here, one and a half cups of water. So because I'm making two boxes, I have three cups of water right here. And then two to four frozen, uncooked, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And it says about one pound. So I do have my, this is actually like 1.39, but it'll be fine. So I've got my chicken breasts. I did get the thin sliced just because I have little kids and it's easier for me to cut up for them. So all it says to do, actually I don't know why I turned this around. All this says to do, is to preheat your oven. So I've got my oven preheating at 425. I'm going to pour the pasta into a glass baking dish. So I've got my glass baking dish right here and it says ungreased, so I'm not gonna grease it. So I'm gonna pour both boxes in here. Then I'm going to add my water. Then I'm going to put the chicken on top and then I'm gonna pour the marsala sauce that comes in here over the chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this in here, show you guys what it looks like, and then show you the next step. Okay, I know I told you that I was gonna show you everything all set up before I put it in the oven, but I needed to pop on real quick. This was not easy. Now, I don't know, I'm pretty, like every time I buy chicken, unless it's from Zaycon Fresh, this is how it's packaged and it has the little, what is it, like a, a plastic dish, not this part, but there's like a little, another little plastic, almost papery thing under the chicken. So when I open this up to put it in here, and I'm glad I had two for, this is for another meal, but I wanted to pull it out and show you guys, that way you can see what chicken it is. But when I open this up, there was no way I could get it into this pan it is completely frozen. So there's there's no easy like frozen to oven because I had a really hard time getting it out of here. So what I ended up doing, and I this is why I wanted to pop back in here just in case you guys have the same problem. Either pull this out and let it thaw just a little bit so you can you know easily pull it off of these paper things that are in here or what I ended up having to do, because there's no waiting and it's already dinner time, I didn't want to sit for another hour and then let this cook for an hour before we ate. So what I did is I just popped it in my microwave. I mean, I took all of this off and then I put the chicken on another plate, a microwave safe plate, and I popped it in the in the microwave and I put it on defrost for about three minutes. So that's why this does not look super frozen anymore. It is a tiny bit defrosted, just enough so I could get the dang papers off of it. So just a little FYI, I wanted to share that, but the only step I have next to do is the marsala sauce. So this is what the marsala sauce comes in, in these boxes. The pasta came in this little foil packet. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up these sauces. I'm just gonna pour it on top. Then I'm going to cover it in foil and pop it in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes, it says here. So I shall return. Okay, it is done. You can see the steam coming off of it. It smells really good. So when I first put it together, opened the Marsala sauce packet, it smelled a little weird to me, um, but that's kind of like, if you open a can of something before you cook it, the smell is just a little off. That's kind of what it smelled like, but it smells really good right now. I cut all of my chicken in half just to make sure that it was done. So while this is cooling off just a little bit, I also have some green beans cooking and then I'm gonna pop some dinner rolls in the oven and dinner is gonna be ready in about five minutes. So I'm going to plate this up, 
show you guys what we're having for dinner and all together and then I'm gonna take a bite and let you guys know how it tastes but it smells amazing here is my plate it is still steaming so what we're having is this is the freezer to plate meal the marsala the pasta and then the chicken that I added in there and then I just heated up a can of cut green beans on the stove and in the oven I put some dinner rolls and I have a little bit of butter on my dinner roll and this is what is for dinner tonight I already took a bite and it tastes pretty good now the chicken is really good I think the marsala sauce because when you're cooking it you pour the sauce over the chicken and then it runs down into the pasta this is really flavorful the pasta tastes really good although I feel like it needed just a little bit of extra so I put some salt and pepper on my pasta and the green beans so for a dollar I mean really two dollars because I picked up two for my family but we're definitely gonna have leftovers which is what I love I love to have leftovers for lunch the next day but for two dollars I think this was an excellent meal love it I will definitely be purchasing more of these if I see them again in my store so that is it I hope you guys loved this week's cook with me if you are new to my channel I'd love for you to subscribe every Wednesday is a cook with me but I do post daily different videos throughout the week if you missed yesterday's video I'll have a link in the corner and I will see you guys tomorrow with something new bye guys